now I will continue with the second app, which is up to date. Okay, now take note up to date is available in iOS, Android, and Windows 8. But for this session, we're going to show you how to install the app to an Android device. So, should you require to install the app for your iOS device, follow the same instruction, eh? same uh, steps. So, to begin, you have to access the library portal. This is the URL of the library portal. Then scroll down. This is uh, actually a layout in um, mobile phone layout eh? for the library portal. That's why you have you are able to see the layout is quite different when you access from a desktop layout. Okay. Now, um, up to date is available in online databases. So once you click uh, online databases, you will be able to access this page. So up to date is listed as number 19. So all you to do is click up to date. All right, then you will be prompt to log in. This is actually um, our easy proxy login. As mentioned previously, okay, your username should not include xstudentimu.edu.my. It should include only your username. And the password will be the same exact password on how you access your eLearn and also your email address. Okay, your email, I have email. So once you have done this, you click login. So once you click login, you'll be able to access the database, the platform. But currently, this is not the app platform. Eh? This is actually the platform in web format. So you are required to register your individual account. Okay. Now, once you have registered, you'll be able to, uh, to log in the app directly. But let me show you how to register properly. Once you click register, you will be prompt to fill certain mandatory details, such as your email address, uh, your username and also your password. Take note, username should be your, uh, sorry, your email address should be your student IMU email address because to be able to remote access, you are required to use IMU domain. Okay, so once done, you click submit registration. Once you click submit registration, you will receive an email notification. This is just to let you know that your registration has been successful. All right. Now, um, the next step will be, of course, to install the app. Once you have registered your account, you are required to install the app. Okay. Um, as I mentioned just now, this tutorial will show you how to install the app to an Android device. So once you install it, okay, once you install it, you can access the app from your phone, like what I'm showing on screen now. Click up to date. And you are required to type your username and also your password. The username and password that you registered previously. All right, now once done, click login. So once you click login, you'll be able to access the app. But of course, before you begin, you have to accept the subscription and license agreement. Click accept button. So once you click accept button, you will be able to search for a material or information that you want. Example here, I want to find an information related to dengue fever. So I type dengue fever as my keyword, then I click search. Then a drop down list will be made available for you to select. Example here, I want uh, daily fever. Okay, this is the general topic that I would like to access. So I click it. Once I click it, uh, you'll be able to see they will also provide you other information related to daily fever. Okay, example here, uh, why do I try to access uh, daily fever infection? Okay, clinical manifestation and diagnosis. So once I click the link here provided. I will be able to access the full text. Okay, you can see here, they will give you summary about the um, disease, the introduction, the classification. And of course, if you want to access more information regarding the subtopic, you just click any of the subtopic here and it will be available in full text. And the good thing about UpToDate is that they even provide you links eh, where you are able to read further regarding the subtopic they have mentioned to you in the app itself. All right. So uh, now uh, I will pass back the presentation to Mr. Nohalim um, so that he will show you how to use the app effectively. Okay. Mr. Nohalim. Thanks, thanks. Thanks, Razman. Okay, um, again, this is my home screen, smartphone. So, so to get access to up to date, just uh, select Play Store again.
and type in up to date. Sorry. Here, up to date. So I already install. I click open. Okay. And allow up to date to access to uh, my phone, photos, media, and file now. Okay. And now, you just key in your username and password that you have uh, created in up to date. Your name. Password. To log in. So there are a lot of information here. We went to read it or not. You just ignore it and just click accept. Get started. Okay, this is the uh, main page of up to date apps. As mentioned by Razman, we can just um, type in whatever a keyword that you desire. For instance, let me try liver disease. So there's a lot of information here, a lot of topic that you can choose, that you can select. Uh, I'm just showing one of the example, approach to the patient with abnormal liver biochemical and function test. Click it or select it. Oh, sorry. So you may see outline of the um, the content of approach of the topic approach to the patient with abnormal liver biochemical and function test. There are so many um, informations about this topic, like summary, recommendation, introduction, so on and so forth. Let's say that you go to one of the topic or subtopic. Let's say you choose um, amino transferases, for example. So you will go directly to, sorry, amino transfer races. So if you find this interesting and you need to have it like in um, your own soft copy, okay. Um, for up to date, you have to share. Sorry. Click share again. Click, sorry, send, need, send a copy. You click send a copy to me, to yourself, and to other recipient. And, okay. Once you have finished, put, like myself, I just put my name my email address once completed just click here to resend or send to your email outlook and then from there you will receive it and you will get the access and and um, after that you can proceed to print okay other than that um let me see you can you you can also uh, access to questions and answers and history and bookmarks that have you uh, that you have um entered before so so it is a list that i have entered before for up to date 